Whoops, I better balance this thing a bit better. Hey everyone, it's Daryl from Houseplant Journal, bringing you clarity on houseplant care. Uh, so the thing that I really love to do is measure light, but I know that's not something that most of you plant parents do or even think about. Uh, so I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these videos where I go around measuring light. Uh, so today, I want you to take a look outside. It's uh, cloudy. So let's get out the old light meter. Power it on, change it to foot candles, and change the range so that we are at the maximum of 2,000 foot candles. And so right at this spot right here, it's 120, but let's bring the light meter closer to the window. This is hard to do with one hand. So on a cloudy day, when we're measuring right at the window here, we're in the neighborhood of 430 foot candles. Now let's go compare this to the Monstera I have in my shower, uh, which is under a pair of grow lights. So because of all the shutdowns due to the coronavirus, I had to bring the Monstera back home to take care of. So I've got it in my shower here under a pair of grow lights. Now this one here is just a kind of grow light bulb that you plug into one of these light fixture things. But this one is a Soltec Solutions 40 watt uh, grow light. So it's an extremely powerful grow light. Let's see what readings we get for this plant. Can you see it there? Okay, there we go. So having both of these grow lights shining on the plant and at this sort of distance, then we're getting roughly the same strength of light as if this plant were just sitting close to the window on a cloudy day at noon. Now what you'll notice is that if I move the sensor even just a few inches closer, the number gets quite a lot higher. Um, now the plant could probably do fine with that strength as well, but then the problem is because the plant is so big, uh, the more you move off the center axis, that causes the reading to, to decrease a lot. So I mean, as long as most of the leaves are seeing between 200 to 400 foot candles, it'll grow just fine. And I'll leave these grow lights on for probably eight hours or so. Oh, what's that? You want PPFD? Okay, I'll get the spectrometer. Okay, so right here we have my new favorite toy because not only does it tell me PPFD and foot candles, but it also shows me the spectral quality of the light. So let's take the measurement. So now notice even at a different time of the day, the foot candle reading is 568. PPFD is 102 micromoles per meter per second. And look at the spectrum. This is the spectrum of sunlight through clouds through glass. Now, how does that compare to the grow lights? Okay, so here we are back with the Monstera. Let's take the reading from right here. So this particular leaf is getting around PPFD of 75. Uh, foot candle reading is 418. Look at how different the shape of the spectrum is. And this is already very good for LED. So quite often when we look at spectral analysis like this, a lot of people wonder, well, what exactly does my plant need? And I think the discussion of spectral quality is really more relevant to people who are trying to grow vegetables or, you know, getting certain plants to flower. If you're just growing tropical foliage like this for fun, then 
it's really not all that important. Here, let me show you. I found my old set of fluorescent grow lights. These are uh, T5 fluorescent grow lights, and they work just fine to grow my tropical foliage plants. So let's power it up and let me test it for you. I guess I should technically turn off these other lights. So actually we have to wait a couple of minutes for these things to uh, get to their full strength. So now this is the spectrum from the LED grow light, but look at what the spectrum is coming from these lights. Look at that, it's so empty, it's, you could almost call this like empty calories for plants. But you know, that's not really a fair assessment because I grew tropical foliage plants just fine under these lights. So even though the spectrum looks like this, they still work to grow plants. Now the difference comes in in terms of efficiency of electricity use because these two lights combined use, uh, it says 54 watts, so that means both of these lights on are consuming 108 watts and we got okay so we were about a foot away getting 531 foot candles and 78 ppfd but now if i take a measurement one foot away from the soltec light wow we're getting 812 in the ppfd or almost 4500 foot candles using only 40 watts of electricity. So if you're growing just like tropical foliage plants as I am, then the real advantage with LED is that you'll use a lot less electricity for a lot more PPFD. So I hope that brought you some clarity on grow lights and light in general. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to measure. I mean, you saw all the light meters that I like to play with, so uh, I'm happy to help uh, give you a better understanding of light. Your plants will thank you for it. I'm Daryl from Houseplant Journal. Thanks for watching. Bye.